What is up guys? Welcome back to this channel. This is the 13th video of 25 Days of Flutter, and we will be continuing off where the last video left off. So if you haven't watched that, be sure to watch that first. All right, so let's jump right into this. Let's open up our 4.json file. So this is what the fourth type of JSON looks like. We've already seen ID and flight name. We've seen this. Now, as you can see, we have a list embedded inside of the JSON and then more JSON inside of there. So just like last time, we're gonna need two classes for this. Let's go ahead and create those in models. I'm going to make 4.dart. So inside of class 4.dart, we need a class 4, and we need a class passenger. So class 4 will be all of this, and passenger will be defining one of these. So for class 4, we have int id, and we have int flight name, make our constructor. And then for class passenger, we have int id and int checked bags. And then we need to parse through each of this JSON. So we're going to do that for passenger first. We'll say factory passenger dot from JSON map string comma dynamic JSON. Inside of here, we will return passenger, and then we'll say id is equal to JSON id, and checked bags is equal to JSON checked bags. Just like that. Now for class four, we're going to do a very similar thing, so we'll copy this, paste it here, change this to 4. We have an ID, but we need to change this to flight name, flight name. And then now we just need a reference to passenger. So up here we'll say list passenger, passenger add that to our constructor and then inside of here we need to create a list so we'll say var list equal to json passengers as list and then we'll say list passenger passenger list is equal to list this list here dot map say passenger map that to passenger dot from json passing in our passenger like that and then finally dot to list then we can set this passenger list equal to passenger. Okay, that is it for that class. Now we can come back to main.dart. We can import that model. And down here, we'll copy this, comment it out change this to assets slash 4.json and then change this variable change this class we have an id we have the flight name and then the passenger so id 4. flight name 4. passenger zero dot id 
and four dot passenger zero dot check bags. So that would be one and one. Let's go ahead and give this a refresh. Okay, we're getting an error here. Type string is not a subtype of int, so it looks like our types are off. Let's see, int flight name. I'm guessing that should be, yes, a string. There we go, try that again. And here we go. ID one, BDL to MCO, one and one. Just like we'd expect, and if we change the zero index to the index one, we should get two and two. So we'll do that quickly. One, one, and let's see if we get two and two. There we go, we do. So that is the fourth JSON example. Now for the fifth JSON. As you can see, this is a list of JSON like this. So let's create our model class, 5.dart. So let's start with defining the class for an individual uh, class. Class, class, int id, string name, and int level. Let's add our constructor. Okay, just like that. And then let's define our entire JSON list, class five. We'll say list of type class, classes, our constructor, this dot classes. Let's add our, let's convert the class from JSON to Dart. I'm actually going to copy this one because it's very similar. So factory class and then we have ID ID. We have class name. Right, that's just name. There we go, and that is class underscore name. And then we have level, which is JSON level. Perfect. And then here, for our entire JSON list, we'll say, well, actually, we'll copy this, paste it in, get rid of this, change this to five. And then we need, before the return statement, a list of those classes. So we'll say list class classes is equal to a new list like that. And then, and then we'll say classes are equal to JSON dot map c for class class dot from json c dot to list we need to change this to list dynamic json just like that and then we can return classes to be classes just like that And then, as always, back in our main.dart, import that class, change our assets to 5.json, copy this, comment it out, change this to 5, and then we are going to print out five dot classes 
get a first class dot ID first class dot level and dot name give this a hard refresh and see what we get awesome there we go one three hundred calc which is what we'd expect so that is it for this video just a reminder this video and the last video's code is all available as well as the rest of this tutorial series it can be found on my github which is linked in the description in the next video we are going to be taking what we just learned and work with an external api